The ocean is a vast place teeming with life. There are countless species living here, many of which are undiscovered. Among these species, the pufferfish is quite unique. But what sets the pufferfish apart from other sea life? Let's take a close look at the pufferfish. Well, we know a little bit about the pufferfish. From word of mouth or the media, we know these things are hella poisonous. From Japanese culture, we can learn that these things are hella delicious. We can encounter them in both salt water and fresh water. They are omnivores, mainly eating algae and invertebrates like clams and sea snails. Here is a footage of a puffer eating your nightmares. As you can see, most of them have hard beaks that can crush shells and consume mollusks. This chef is testing the bite of the puffer. Here is a rare footage of an octopus trying to eat a puffer fish. Its attempt failed because the puffer is too thick. Stop it. Get some help. While many puffer fishes have sharp beaks, their primary defense is their ability to inflate. Whenever threatened, the puffer fish will inhale either water or air to increase their size. They do this to avoid getting eaten. Their sudden increase in size confused the hell out of predators. It is believed that the pufferfish evolved this inflation ability because they're slow swimmers. Escape is not exactly their best skill. Imagine drinking 200 liters of water in a span of 10 minutes. Because of their defensive evolution, these puffers can't digest food in their stomachs. This means they completely rely on their intestines for digestion. Scientists believe that their toxin is from eating specific invertebrates, but it seems likely that their toxicity increased during uh, frisky hours. Most saltwater puffers are equipped with tetrodotoxin, while most freshwater puffers have saxitoxin. This toxin to predators is like vegetables to children, and those vegetables can potentially kill you. Why are you bullying me? According to National Geographic, it is known that pufferfish poison is 1200 times <laughs> more potent than cyanide. Ugh, that's rough. Well, at least it can't get any worse than that. <laughs> oh. If you have friends that are raising pufferfish, make sure you're in good terms with them. In many Asian cultures, the pufferfish is a known delicacy. When prepared correctly, the person eating it does not die. So far, only the shark is able to eat the puffer successfully without dying. Unfortunately, some species of the pufferfish are vulnerable due to pollution. These pollutions contribute to habitat loss. However, some people take these vulnerable species as pets. Here we see the pygmy puffer, also known as a dwarf pufferfish. They are vulnerable from overfishing and live in fresh water. The one staring into your soul is Timmy. Say hello to Timmy. The pygmy pufferfish are named that way because they can only grow up to an inch and a half. They are the smallest pufferfish species on the planet. On the right we see Timmy playing with a small shell. Please don't eat Timmy. He has saxitoxin. He will kill you. The spiny box puffer is another small species of the pufferfish and can grow up to 6 inches. This saltwater puffer has spikes that are always erect. Wait, hang on. This saltwater puffer has spikes that are in a fixed position. Okay, that's better. That means it doesn't matter whether it inflates or deflates. Its spikes will always show. Unlike its close cousin, the porcupine pufferfish's spikes only show when it inflates. Fun fact, the pufferfish's name in Finding Nemo is Bloat. This one, however, is named Murderer. Not even kidding. This is another freshwater puffer called Pao Suvati. I probably said that wrong. In Thailand, it means purse fish. They are also named arrowhead fish because of the arrow-like shape on its body. They are able to camouflage themselves near rocks and prey on unsuspecting feeders. Since they are territorial, Jack here is alone. The striped burfish is probably one of my favorite pufferfish, mainly because it's really good at surviving. It oh, it's trying to get the it's trying to get the shrimp. 
It secretes toxins on its body when it's stressed or dying. Not many predators can handle this pufferfish quite easily. I have a bad feeling. This is the end of the video. Thank you for journeying with me. Keep in mind that these creatures, like many others, can be deadly, even though they're funny looking. Luckily, we can admire these creatures from a safe distance, in our homes. Should we encounter one, we should let it mind its own business. It's puffer business. I hope you've learned a little bit about the puffer fish and how much they suck. I'm ending on a dad joke. Alright, everyone stay safe. Oh look, it's a goldfish and a, a catfish friend. They look like they're having fun. I wonder what they're doing. Oh, oh, Joey, cut the video.